What you guys got another video here for you. A major problem with NVIDIA Driver 572.83 on Windows. Now, NVIDIA Driver 57.83 was released on March 18th and is turning out to be a complete disaster for a lot of Windows users. Some Windows users are receiving this particular blue screen of death right here, which is related to driver underscore IRQ. And also it's related to the actual file driver itself, which is related to NVIDIA GeForce 572.83. Some people are reporting black screen of death like this one with a cursor in the middle of the screen. And they can move the cursor around, but it just doesn't do anything from there. The black screen of death comes out of nowhere during installation or it's after a reboot or it's even in the middle of games when you're playing games. Some people have even reported funny lines and artifacts on the screen as well. Now there is an NVIDIA post on Reddit here which explains all about what's going on here and you can see in Game Ready Driver 572.83 has been released. Lots of bug fixes but there's also lots of problems with it still. So if you're one of these people that are still having issues like black screen, blue screen or artifacting on the screen or any other issues that you see uh, posted then by all means, you might want to roll back and get rid of that driver altogether until it's been fixed. This is a common problem with some drivers. They just can't seem to get it stable. Uh, and this is another big issue with people constantly updating to latest drivers. Latest drivers for NVIDIA are not mandatory. You can voluntarily update to the latest driver. But like I always tell people, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. If it's working perfectly fine, you don't have to keep updating. I know people out there like Regular Star on our Discord server likes to have the latest drivers because he wants to get that extra one FPS uh, boost on the new driver. But again, at the end of the day, joking apart, I mean, it's really not worth all the hassle. Keep updating all the time. I'm on a really old version of uh, NVIDIA and it works perfectly fine and I don't need to run out updates all the time for my NVIDIA drivers for my card. Now this affects quite a few different variants of uh, cards from NVIDIA. So for instance, if you've got an RTX 4070 Ti or even the 5000 series, it's reported to affect those as well. Now I've actually seen the artifacting on the screen of one of the streamers on our Discord, Regulus, and uh, he basically has a 5070 Ti and he's been having a few issues. But when you're using bleeding edge technology, the latest and greatest uh, hardware, you are going to run into teething issues like these. And uh, unfortunately, what you're going to have to do is either roll back to an older driver or, you know, basically sit it out and wait for them to try to fix it. Now, there is tons of comments, like I've already mentioned, about issues with 4070 Ti, 4070 Supers, 4080s and even a 5000 series cars like 5080s, 5070 Ti's and stuff like that. So there is actually quite a few posts about this. So if you are one of these people that are suffering with a few issues, then you may want to uninstall that driver and download an older version of driver and install that instead. So hopefully that will rectify your problem. You can see if you need to find out what driver you've got, you can look inside device manager right here, right click on your graphics card, go properties and then go to driver right here and it will tell you what driver you have on your system. You can see my one is back from 0509 2024 so I've not updated my driver for quite a while but why should I? You don't have to keep rushing out and getting the latest drivers if your graphics card is stable and you're having perfectly good experiences when you're playing games you know having no glitching or anything like that or any blue screens then you don't need to update all the time you can also find out your driver version by clicking on your nvidia control panel right here it will tell you what version you've got right here you can see i'm running version 561.09 and that's an older driver right there you can get a 566 as well i think there's a version like that you can get as well which is slightly newer it depends on what you want to do but if i run an update right now it's going to give me the very latest uh, driver which is what i don't want just in case i start having issues like that so people that do update all the time are probably got the latest technology like a 5080 or a 5070 ti and you might want to get the latest drivers for that because of stability and also performance especially it being new hardware but if it's causing you problems then stay on the driver that you've got for a while you can also check right here the uh, DirectX diagnostic tool 
and this will tell you whether your card is having issues or driver is having issues as well. And this will also tell you what version of driver you're running on your system. You can see right here, it does give you some information on the system and I can click on a display right here and it will give me some information about what version I'm running, what date it is and stuff like that. So yeah, you can find all that stuff out right here. Now, why is it happening? Well, there's a lot of speculation about the link to the display port that could be causing an issue with the final handshake with certain refresh rates like 144 hertz, 165 hertz, and so on. There's also been mention of G-Sync and HDR and VRR. When they're turned on, it causes issues. It could be a number of different things, but again, some people have said that messing around with your refresh rate by lowering it, it might help. Uh, I don't know why mine is on 60 hertz there. It should be on this one right here. I'm not sure how that's uh, dropped down, but I'll change it back. But I'm on an older driver, so that's not going to affect me at all because I'm not having any issues with this. So let me just quickly change that right there. So again, you can mess around with that. I would advise you to probably use an older stable version such as uh, 566.36 or even older ones like I've got as well, which is working perfectly fine. Now you can head over to the NVIDIA website right here, the official site to download your drivers. To do that, all you need to do is come down to this manual driver search right here, and then you can just put in uh, your selected product category right here. So let's go with NVIDIA RTX right here. So we'll select that one there, and this will do a quick population of all the menu right here. So now we can do a quick search for the card of your choice. So depending on what type of card you've got right here, you would select one of these options right here for yourself. You can see series for notebooks and also for desktop PCs. So depending on what version you've got, let's just choose one of these and I'll do a quick search just to show you and you can get a good idea of what you're looking for. So let me go ahead and just choose this one right here. So we'll select this one right here and now we can choose the operating system and we can do a quick find for all of the drivers and it will come up and populate all the drivers for that particular version of card. And you can see it's given us the latest version for Windows 10 64-bit and Windows 11. Of course, you don't want to use that one because that's the one with all the bugs and all the issues. Uh, so what you want to do is come down and search through some of the other ones right here. And you can come down and take a look until you find one that you want to use on your system. And there's quite a few to choose from. So just have a little look here and download it and install it. Now, you might want to uninstall your old version first. Download this ready. Uh, to your desktop uh, and then you can basically uninstall your old version either via the uninstall the program or you can use ddu or something like that if you want to let me quickly show you the ddu website right here you can just download this application and uninstall it if you don't know how to use this program you can check some of my videos on my channel i'll show you how to do that it's pretty straightforward and easy to do best to do that in safe mode if you don't know how to get into safe mode you can use ms config to get into safe mode and then run it from there and uninstall all the old driver and then get the new driver installed on that system. It's pretty straightforward. Or you could just uninstall it right here uh, inside uninstall the program, find NVIDIA control panel and also the audio and just uninstall these and install the older version right here. What's going to happen if you use an older version of driver? Well, you're not going to be really super at risk because obviously these are updated all the time. So hopefully it would only be for a short period that you're running an older version and you'll be able to roll out the newer version once it's fixed. So there is a few issues as we've seen. And with any sort of new version, there's always a few bugs, but blue screen of death and black screen of death are pretty nasty and you really don't want them on your system. It's affecting your gameplay. Let me just quickly show you MS Config right here so you can see it. And all you need to do is come in here if you want to. It's an easier way to get into safe mode. And then just go into the boot tab right here and then change that boot tab uh, to safe boot right here. And that will take you straight in there. Make sure you've already got your driver downloaded and you can install that driver onto the system. Once you've done installing all your driver, when you boot back up, make sure you remove that check mark from there and it will boot straight back to the normal desktop. Anyway, that's going to be about it for today. So let me know in the comment section if you are being affected by this particular driver. I'd be interested to read your comments. 
My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group, whether you're tier one, tier two, or tier three. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the very next video, or I'll catch you on the Discord server for a chat. Discord link is in the video description. Check it out, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a lovely weekend. Bye for now.